fucking pumped. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Back at the funny bar. <laughs> Last time I was here, they hadn't did the remodeling yet, so it's bigger and better, and I like it. Make sure y'all get my picture, like you know, with the words and everything. <laughs> well, I want to give a shout out to all. The birthday people, a special shout out to my friend Tracy Baker. Aww. Thank you, Rosa. She's so sweet. You saw she gave her tickets away and everything. Yeah. That's how she is. But anyway, how many single ladies are in the house tonight? <laughs> Just what I thought. Yeah. Always more single people in the house than married. Yeah. But that's all good. It's all good. I'm a single lady and I'm happy about it. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. I go to church. I love church. I grew up in church. I still go to church. I've heard every cliche, every prophecy, every prayer. Every time there's a prayer line, any single ladies believe in God for a husband. Woo, it's like catching the bouquet at a wedding reception. You better watch out because you might get knocked down. That prayer line is always full. So, wait on God. He ain't ready yet. He's still in the oven. He on his way. Just work on yourself. Just be content. And when the married people have the marriage conference and their weekend seminars. <laughs> Humble yourself and be a servant. <laughs> we want all the singers to come out and babysit the children. <laughs> For the married couples. You know, there's always that one person, the rebel who will speak her mind. Well. It was me. Why do you think I don't have nothing to do? Who said that was my calling? To babysit the married people's kids. Who said I had to serve in that capacity? Show me chapter and verse. <laughs> and besides, who gonna watch my five kids? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I might consider, is this a paid gig? You know, I'm just saying, you know. Like, where they do that at? And I found out, they do it at every church. <laughs> They do it everywhere. Anyway, my pastor said everybody should be part of a life group. Pick a life group that will help you grow and help you get to know your brothers and sisters in Christ better. And, you know, focus on growing in God. I'm obedient sometimes. So I joined the life group for the singles. It was called Single and Complete. We in the group, our facilitator, she's so deep. Oh, she's so deep. She was like, everybody's welcome. And she said, let's close our eyes and meditate on the goodness of the Lord. Like, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So I closed one eye. Because I don't know all these people in the group, and I have my purse on the floor. <laughs> you know, you go to a real big church, you don't know everybody. You know, you know, so, you know, just watching. He said, watch and pray. <laughs> That's chapter and verse. <laughs> so we get to 
the segment where everybody's going around the circle, giving God thanks, and everybody take a turn and say what you're thankful for. So we did all that. And then she said, everybody tell me what you want to hear the Lord say to you. So we going around the circle, and these are some of the comments that other people was making. It was all ladies in there. You know, ain't no dude gonna sign up for that. <laughs> Name one. <me. laughs> okay, so some of the ladies are saying things like, um, "Oh, I want to hear the Lord say, I love you, daughter." I want to hear the Lord say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. <laughs> I want to hear the Lord say, oh, you are blessed, my child. I called you. I call you my own. <laughs> they going around. It's my turn. <laughs> I said, I want to hear the Lord say, he went to Jared's. Oh. <laughs> 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 and before they kicked me out of the life group, <laughs> I love saying, every kiss begins with care. <laughs> Why they was leaving their 
churches and why they want to come to the Keeping It Real Church. So I said, all right, we're going to have church. But I, I, Lord, I'm, I'm going to need some rules and regulations so they can understand how it all operates. You understand? You can come to the Keeping It Real Church. That's okay. Come as you are. We're going to tell the truth in love. That's our logo. Keeping It Real Church, where we tell the truth in love. So, some people said they get mad when they come to church and the usher tell them where to sit. Any of y'all? Anybody ushers that have experienced that? You get mad because the usher trying to get you to sit over here. Well, when you come to Keeping It Real Church, everybody will know where their section is. There's a section over here called Wretch Undone. <laughs> See, you already know. Who, you already know. You already know. You ain't saved yet. You ain't saved. But you're coming to church because you know you need to, but you ain't all the way there yet. You don't need an usher. It's going to be labeled. <laughs> Wretch Undone. <laughs> section over here called straddle the fence. Yeah. <laughs> That's over to the left. You know, sometimes you're here, sometimes you're out. You know, you're twinks between. So you get your section, you get your know, section. Now we got an area in the back to the left. It needs to be in the back to the left, far corner, where the automatic air fresheners go. <laughs> but it's okay, it's labeled. You just know your section, you go sit there. That section is called Still Smell Like Weed. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Still got smoke on you. It's okay. It's okay. You know, because it's, you know, come as you are. Either you're going to be that or you're not. The churches say, come as you are. This one, keeping it real, really means it, okay? You just sit in your section, okay? You know that the usher got to tell you? You just know that's your section. Now, we got a section over to this end on the far back right, club clothes. Club clothes. <laughs> Come to the altar. We got a theme song. 